What's going on collectors optical 20 here for another hot toys video review this time it's uh the farm boy luke from star wars episode 4 um a new hope i really like the figure uh, that's why i bought it i'm not even into star wars but i feel it gives me a nostalgic feeling where i feel like it's a dx figure once again it's just missing the stand and the um purse system but lately hot toys been releasing um you know some Pretty good figures with nice accessories like this guy and Batman Returns. Really happy about that. Gives you that that old school feeling of um, opening a Hot Toys products with a lot of them inside. You know, you know, with a lot of accessories. And this is a perfect example, as you can see from the box. Nothing too special. That's one thing about the, I miss about the DX line is their fancy boxes. It really feels that you are opening a, uh, but it's dead. You know, <laughs> it really feels like you're opening a high end collectible right now the packaging is almost similar unless you're buying a uh, a die cast figure where it's it's a little bit different but still it doesn't give you that um the deluxe feeling here yeah, i mean considering the price of this one this one retails for around 230 i believe and 240 with shipping so it's it's not a bargain so to speak you know that's the price of a dx figure back in the day but you know, I'm not, I'm not going to keep on comparing them because obviously that's not going to help any cost. But uh, the inside and the layout is pretty good. So you can see there's a Millennium Falcon in the back. Um, the farm boy look, um, you know, style right there. And also the training. So I like that. I like the artwork that they used as well because they used the actual figure instead of uh, this um, stock photo from the film. And here you can see him with all the accessories. It's really awesome. And moving on, let's go to uh, what he comes with. So two fisted hands, two hands to hold the lightsaber. Uh, one is like a um, blaster hand for those who got the exclusive edition. And I want to call this the force hand. Uh, the hands are a bit smaller. Um, I've seen, you know, because while I was doing this, I was boxing up Thor. I was about to sell him and I just noticed because Thor has a pretty similar hand, I guess, when he's trying to call him his hammer but yeah it's it's a bit smaller as well so i i mean i know mark hamlet's not the tallest guy but you know it, it is noticeably smaller and um see I, I'm, I don't even know what this guy is i didn't read the manual but yeah it attaches to his belt it's pretty cool uh he also comes with a manual which i um i would suggest you read because he got a lot of parts so like this guy's binoculars pretty cool All right there are nice details on it Although he only used it, you know, like once, but you know, it's a nice touch. See, that's where you're gonna. It's kind of. I, I wish that was like more of a like a glassy effect, kind of like this one, but it's nice nonetheless. The paint apps, all the details are great, um, and then you can see there's a clip on the back, so you're supposed to clip that on his belt. Ironically, you gotta clip it on the actual buckle itself, uh, but. I don't know if you want to do that. Um, I have my experiences with Vader, and it's pretty horrible. Um, they might not suffer the same fate, but I'm not going to take my chances. And as you can see, there's like two different settings for uh, this one. It can be the closed position or it can be the open position, whichever you prefer. But, you know, it's a nice option. And also, it comes with this helmet. This is his training helmet. I'm not sure what kind of helmet this is, so don't crucify me for that. Um, like I said, not a big Star Wars fan, but it's a pretty nice quality. It It is uh, magnetized on the side. I just wish there was a way to remove that thing. I'm sure there is, but I just don't want to mess it up. Um, so you can have him in a helmeted look, you know, without the uh, blockage. So I know I, I know he used this for his training, so he can't see. So he's just feeling where the, the drone is, but... You know, that would have been a nice option. I think it would be fairly easy mod if you want to take out that that piece. As you can see there in this magnet. And before, obviously, before you insert it, you're going to switch over his hairstyle. But yeah, so you can see it looks like it's just glued. And um, I wish it was just pegged, you know, like, kind of like you're going to slide it up. So you can take it out. I mean, if you want to do, a, you want to modify something, you can buy a separate helmet or something. But... I don't know if you want to do it on a, on his outfit though. I mean, it doesn't really fit, but and he also comes with this nice rifle. It's pretty long. I think it's as tall as him. 
but the details are pretty nice it's it is a bit tall though so i don't know if you i i've never seen pictures where he's holding his this rifle in a in a shooting motion mostly him just standing and using it like a stick to stand up but yeah nice details on it those ridges right there they're pretty sharp so if you're I, I made a mistake of just putting his hand on top because it's a lower it's like a thinner version so and if you slide the hand down and it catches those ridges it will take out some of the I wouldn't say paint but yeah it, it will give you some sort of a damage on the hand so don't do that don't do the same mistake that I did uh, just stretch out the hand if you need it so and this is his lightsaber pretty cool just like vader um the blue part right here is removable as you can see this one is a bit tighter but yeah so you can attach this to the uh, light up arm as well i hope like i said on my vader review one day you don't need to remove the hands this one is not too bad because he does have a sleeve that you can pull up and it's easier it's easier than the vader one the vader is just a walking i don't know fragile mess so I'm, I'm just i'm just afraid to play around with it this guy not so much um pretty nice concept right here but like i said down the line i hope they would integrate it to the uh the actual lightsaber where there's a switch and then you can turn them on and off uh unlike on this one i, I don't know how how possible that would be but this is a, a nice blue light in it and it's this one's fairly easy to uh, replace like i said you just pop it off on and off and then don't try to remove the hand that would defeat the purpose and that is the uh, light and lightsabers you can see there's a big difference right there put them down and also he comes with a totally different outfit so uh, as you know if he came with another head uh you can buy another body and, and create the farm boy look um you know with a poncho and this is the hair piece kind of looks like an eggnog if you put this in i'll, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll show it to you when we come to the uh head sculpt part and also he comes with this uh nice looking poncho to be quite honest with you i also like the look you know when you put the poncho in and then the uh, fisherman's hat it's pretty awesome pretty awesome so i wouldn't be opposed to maybe buying another body and another head sculpt but i'm not a big enough uh luke skywalker fan to do that to spend almost i don't know how much the body would cost me probably around 120 and another head you now no. Uh, but yeah, if you wanted to, you know, it's possible. That's the um, goggles right there. It's not a recycle goggles from um, anyone, at least as far as I can tell. And his um, fisherman's hat. You got to push it down more, you know, if you're trying to put it on the, uh, the hair piece because it just kind of sits there. So you kind of have to tug it down. And also his stand. I like I like the concept of the stand where you can take out the, uh, the nameplate and kind of like put them together. And as you can see, there's a black uh, stand right there. This is for the uh, droid that he's, he was trying to hit when he was training. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, pretty nice detail as well. I'm not gonna go in depth to it. So basically, it's it's like a diorama for him. So I like that. And also comes with a Vader interrogation droid. So you know, this little pieces you would really appreciate because not a whole lot of figures come with them you know so it's, it's a nice looking piece and moving on to the figure itself um i like it when a figure is fully articulated and yet maintaining the the character it's not suffering on anything but this guy is a perfect example of one of them although his outfit um the overall material that they used for his outfit the cloth i don't know cotton or whatever it is it, it <laughs> It's one of those things where you have to, I, I don't know, futz around with to get the good look. And also, they wrinkle pretty easily. And this is the um, uh, binoculars. As you can see, I'm trying to put them in his belt now, which, I mean, I, I, I would be successful, but bad experience from Vader. Um, not going to do this for the most part. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to break every belt from here on out, so yeah even though i'm going for the farm boy look which he does have the poncho you won't even see it so there's no point really in in me attaching it there i know it's probably more secure than i'm thinking uh or, or safer than i I'm, I'm thinking right now i'm just freaking out I'm, i just don't want to mess up another belt from um from my hot toys figure 
and that's the hook where you're gonna insert the uh, lightsaber. So yeah, it's just, I mean, it's an okay look, I guess. So there's a hook on the on the edge of the lightsaber. So yeah, that just drapes down. So the belt is adjustable. You can actually remove it quite easily, unlike the Vader one. Um, if you do have the exclusive version, you can swap it out with the uh, Stormtrooper belt with a blaster on it, which is a pretty cool look as well, especially if you have um, Han Solo. And then and they're kind of like, you know, when, when you rewatch the episode on um, the first Star Wars where they invaded the Death Star and all that stuff. So this one is... Um, his sleeve has a wire on it so you have the option of you know just playing around with it if you don't want the peg showing up you can kind of press them together to, um, to avoid the um, exposure of his pegs and also on the boot it's a separated piece so there's ankle articulation because of the the fact that the the shin guard of the boot is not sculpted to the actual figure itself and there goes the the belt as you can see there's a pouch right there this pouch are not removable and they have nice details as you can see there it looks it gives you that leather feeling even though they're not at least in the pouches and you can get this piece and just hang it off right there there's another hook uh, I'm not sure what you're gonna put in there um, maybe the blaster no, probably not the blaster belt but it, it's not on the instruction it's just you know it's, it's just there and also, you know, turn it around. A nice looking piece altogether. You know, I'm, I'm switching my focus right here. So, yeah, you see the belt with the uh, lightsaber. Yeah, and the hands going down all the way to his boots. So I, I like this look a lot better when he's wearing like a kind of sort of gi instead of the, um, I don't know, the, the DX07. I like that, that version as well because he looks like more of a fighter. But this kind of, to me, it kind of like gives you the essence of Star Wars where he looks more of a Jedi, so to speak, on this one. And not somebody who's going to ride the, the Red Wing or something. Um, that makes him more special, at least in my eye. I mean, you know, we all have different um, ideas on him. So, I mean, this, this release gets a lot of um, mixed reactions as far as the head sculpt is concerned. Uh, in my opinion, it looks pretty good. Is it dead on? Not necessarily. I would give it... And I might be generous on this one on some people's eyes, an 8 out of 10, maybe an even an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's pretty good. Um, is it perfect? No. The good news is Hot Toys is going to milk this line <laughs> forever. So, I mean, this is Star Wars, one of the biggest lines ever. So, I'm pretty sure this is not the last of um, Luke Skywalker that you would see. Although, this would be the last of Farm Boy look that you would see. So, But we'll see. We'll see down the line if there's going to be another head sculpt, which is going to be a lot better. But I've seen on some reviews or uh, on some photo references that, you know, they compare this to the Sideshow version. And so far, uh, this looks a lot better. And, and a lot of people are saying it's maybe because of the headpiece, hairpiece that... Uh, that why it kind of looks a little off you know you can't really point your finger to it myself including but yeah so you can replace this hairpiece with a more compact one reminds me of thor the first thor at least so it looks kind of funny here but there's a purpose for this uh that is if you you can sport technically three looks from him just by this figure itself the, the first look obviously the one with just you know our normal look the one with a helmeted look where, um, you know, he kind of likes his training. And this is what I'm talking about, the uh, fisherman's hat. You really got to futz it, otherwise it just pops up. As you can see, he looks kind of funny there. It's just sitting, you know, it's hard for me to do it at this point, but it is possible. You'll see it when I displayed him, um, you know, with some poses that it, it doesn't look this funny. You know, and then you're going to put the goggles on front on the top right there. It's just hard because every time I film something this up close, then the uh, camera is a bit closer to my chest as well. So because of this tripod, so forgive me if this is not the perfect alignment. But you know, you get the idea. You just pull them down. The, the best way is to hold them on the on both sides of the hat and just pull them down, and you'll get it. It's it's not as bad as it looks. So there you go. Um, I think I'm. I don't think I was successful in doing it though. Yeah, so it just kind of sits there. Yeah, so it it took me a while. You know, I I don't like futzing around too much with my figures. Uh, the goggles does fit. 
nicely. So I'm. It, it does have a um, a garter as a uh, as a support. So even if you are using the regular hair piece, I'm sure it'll, it'll fit nicely. So I don't know if you want to leave the goggles on for too long though, because you know staining and all that stuff. But and this is the helmet. So like I said, it comes in two pieces. So make sure you uh, snap them back together. Um, it, it takes. A while before you know you, you get the good snap on it so sometimes it looks like it's secured but it's not but you still have a good look you know like I said if you can remove that blockage right there in the front of his face I think it might be a good helmet you know this might be a good look so if you want to buy an extra piece on eBay or something like that and try to fiddle around with it it looks like it's just being held by some some super glue or something like that but yeah this is a good look as well you know if you try to have him post with obi one if you if you bought one looks like they're training that's a pretty cool look as well pretty nice so yeah technically if you buy the entire a new hope line and that's excluding you know all of the uh troopers obviously there's a lot of them uh you can fit the entire collection in one detail so you can have him in an Obi Wan, Han Solo, and Chewie, um, maybe Vader and two stormtroopers, and then Boba Fett um, with somebody else, you know. So and and Le you know and Leia with Han and Chewie. All right, so we're gonna throw in a couple of poses, uh, many poses before we wrap this thing up. You know, I'm just trying to uh, recreate the one the, the pose that I saw on Sideshow. It's kind of like him folding his arms. Um, this one, him, I like training. I like this a lot better, especially if I'm going to, um, uh, it's like a young Jedi training. I just love the, the idea. To me, the, A New Hope is, I would say, the, the best movie of the trilogy by far. I mean, it's just my opinion once again. So, um, I like the idea of his, him starting to be, you know, he's the, gonna be the protege and all that stuff. So, this captures the entire essence all together um, I'm using the force hand. I, I don't want to you know I'm, I'm gonna use it for the most part so I could have used the other hand um, the lightsaber gripping hand so he's gripping two hands but I am using the hand where it lights up so you really don't have much option there so I mean the positioning of the hand is stagnant so you know I just chose this this hand just for this purpose but yeah he looks good right there so I mean, you, you can have him get off his base and or not you know have him working around with this that's what I like if you have a lot of op options and this is him with the lightsaber on it's like he's about to fight looks pretty good you know I, like I said this is for me not a farm boy look but a Jedi look um, he needs like those big um, coat and whatnot but I don't know I, I just I just like this look all together. I'm not gonna buy another Luke Skywalker un unless it really blows my mind away. Um, they already made the DX07. Yeah, I think that's the DX07. Yeah, which you know they have that look. So maybe Sideshow is tackling the Red Wing look. There's gonna be a Hoth look. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Would I buy another head sculpt down the line? Probably not. Um, I don't know, I'm just pretty happy with this all together. And this is what I'm talking about. You can pinch his sleeve. I could have done a better job. Some people are doing some water treatment, um, but I won't. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I have here. So I'll just demonstrate you. I mean, it's currently on the lightsaber, but I don't know if it's you can really see the difference. So what I'll do is I'll just turn off my um, some of my lights so to highlight. So if you're in a dark room or something, you know, trying to show off to your friends, it looks a lot better, especially when him standing to Darth Vader. You can see that, you know, a blue and a red lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. There you go. So I turned off both of my side lights. Um, my ambient lights. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, it's a lot clearer as you can see there. And that's pretty much it. So what you're looking now is all the accessories that he comes with. I'm really happy with how this turned out, um, especially with the price, $230. It's $30 more than Quicksilver, $5 more than Scarlet Witch, uh, and and the, he, he, this is more iconic than both of them combined. Um, pretty happy with it. Look at all the accessories that you, you're going to get your money's worth. Um, are you going to be happy with the head sculpt fully? It, it all depends to you. 
If you get the exclusive version, that's even cooler. Um, this one is running for like 240 shipped, uh, 230 dollars, and then 10 dollars shipping. Currently at Sideshow Collectibles, if you want it, uh, just click the link down below. I think the exclusive version is currently on waitlist. I was waitlisted, but I didn't have. I, I don't want to wait. You know, it's like yeah, I can live without that belt. To be quite honest with you, uh, if you really want the belt, I'm pretty sure you can pick it up on eBay, even even third party. You know. Um, but yeah, it, it looks pretty good. You're gonna get your money's worth. Uh, be careful buying Star Wars figures though, because it's it's a downhill right after that. You get, I got a Vader from a trade, and all of a sudden I just saw myself um, pre-ordering Han and Chewie and um, uh, Ben as well. So, and then I bought this. So, Star Wars is such a big line, so you gotta be really careful threading that line. Uh, and there's also the Force Awaken line, so. I'm just sticking with the old school one. You know, I don't have that much money, so I'm selling some of my stuff. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, click like or subscribe, and thank you for watching. Until next uh, review.